Hey guys, um, this is the Tarot uh, 450 Pro um, I just bought and uh, put together and thought it would be nice to make a little review of it. Um, I've seen a lot of different reviews on the net of people doing these, um, let's call them clone helicopters and most of them don't, you know, they don't compare them to anything. Uh, they just say, hey, it looks great or it flies nice or it's crap or whatever. But they don't really compare it and I thought, okay, this is the Tarot 450 Pro version 2. It doesn't take a genius to figure out which helicopter this is modeled from. Um, so, just to be completely fair here, I actually do have um, the real uh, T-Rex 450 Pro uh, version 2. The only main difference... between these two uh, in case of setup is this has the normal flyby-less head and this has the DFC flyby-less head. It's a little lower, it should give some added uh, 3D uh, capabilities or stable stabilization um, when you're flying hard 3D. But just to be fair, I have built and flown both, so I think it's pretty fair to say that I can do a reasonable comparison of the two. Um, first off, very nice looking. Um, I like the canopy, again, it is inspired a lot. But some of the more cheap, cheap clones, even though some of them actually do have, you know, a uh, very nice um, build quality to them, most of the canopies look like crap. I have some here, and that's not, those are not even the worst ones. Uh, as you can see, they've be, been through the wall a few times. They're okay. Um, these are not the worst ones, but some are not very good. This one, excellent. Um, but, let's open it up. First off, um, what I actually noticed was the um, carbon frame is actually more... Um, doesn't need... Um, sanding down on the edges is actually very smooth. Might only be this one, but on the, uh, my T-Rex I had to sand the edges so it didn't cut the, um, the wires. And when we are discussing the wires, if anybody is saying, hey my god, this wiring looks like crap, it's actually because I want to try different kind of uh, electronics with this one, so I just made it easy to swap them out. Um, but very nice quality. The screws, I will say has a better quality than the align screws. Um, sometimes the align screws actually strip uh, very easily. Hadn't had that issue with these ones. And even on the tail screws, um, they use the same hex um, head. Uh, the align have a tendency to some screws uh, being, um, in case we call them star screws, you know. Um, so, but I prefer the same screw being, you know, used all around. Um, so, very, very nice uh, quality of the screws. I had a little issue with some holes were actually not lining up perfectly. So I had to drill the hole just, you know, inch of a millimeter so it actually fit with the um, mountain bracket um, on both sides. Very minor issue, a little annoying, but, you know, by the end of the day, that's something we should all be able to fix. Um, when you're actually building these clone models, there's, you learn there's a few things you have to be very aware of. Most of the times, these um, one-line, uh, one-way bearings uh, are too tight. Didn't have this issue with this one. Um, actually, bought a few others uh, just in case. Um, also from uh, Tirat. Um, None of them had an issue, so it seems like they're a very nice quality. Um, some of the things that did change, uh, I never got why they did that. Um, the stabilization bracket uh, is both on the T-Rex and also on this one. 
uh, original made of plastic. Um, I just changed it out to this metal one. It looks a little nicer. Um, I am considering doing the same with the battery mount. Um, actually, I already bought it, but I forgot to buy the the canopy mount down here. So I'll change that out. Um, but overall, very nice uh, detailed. I will say the tail. If any of you guys are interested, I took a lot of pictures while I was actually building this. Um, I can put them on, online, no problem, if you uh, like that. This tail is super smooth. Um, if the tail is um, you know, not running smooth, um, you will have a lot of problems with your tail. Uh, in the video, you can actually see if, it's, if the push rod is not connected, it will just uh, fall up and down. So it will fall on its own weight. Very nice detail. Uh, another thing I like on this one, uh, compared to the um, Align one, is actually the push rod. Um, this is made of carbon fiber, uh, which is make it a lot more rigid. Um, on the T-Rex uh, 450 Pro, this is um, a normal uh, metal one that where you have two guide, uh, guide uh, wire holders, but it still tends to bend a little. Um, and because of the, the server mount here, you can't really uh, twist and turn too much. Um, this is a very nice um, addition and actually makes the whole tail a little more stable. So I will either buy another one and put it on my T-Rex or I will just make one myself. Uh, it shouldn't be that complicated. Um, um, but other than that, all uh, metal parts, um, uh, besides the few things I actually uh, told you, um, this one, the um, this tail servo mount, is also made of plastic, and I actually bought one in metal, um, but the combo I bought had a very very small uh, servo, I'm not sure that's a good thing, but time will tell, um, which had a mountain bracket on it, um, so you could it could fit the, the small servo into um, this big mount. But for some reason, the holes on this carbon fiber mounting plate didn't uh, line up with my holes in my metal um, holder. So for now I just put on the plastic, uh, I'll look into it later and per probably put on another um, a servo uh, sometime down the line. Um, this kit also came with the, the ZUX uh, S version. It's the newest version where you can actually just uh, connect a satellite to it. Um, only using a satellite, I wouldn't recommend that on anything bigger um, than a 450. I tried that uh, right now, did some range check, not a problem. You could mount it somewhere else, again, I'm just trying different stuff, that's why it's mounted so it's easy to access. Um, but this unit so far, I'll probably do a video on this uh, unit alone. Uh, compared to the uh, AR700, uh, 7200, uh, uh, BX that I have on the um, T-Rex. I will say it's a little easier to put up the, um, which pretty much is just a beast X, than this one. Uh, but with the USB software, you know, when you get it dialed in, it will actually perform super well. And I've seen people fly like a million times better than I do. They're using these ones and they don't have any problems. Um, so I'm really looking forward to putting this to the test. Um, but other than that, I will just say, you know, are you in the market for a 450 Pro? This is definitely um, a possibility to buy. Um, there's other clones out there. Um, I also have a, uh, a Hobby King uh, clone. Don't have a problem with it. Uh, I use that as a, uh, a beater. It's, you know, it's been teared apart so many times that I can't even remember. But this is just a little higher quality, um, so I I really like it and can only highly recommend it. Should you buy this instead of the T-Rex, you know, by the end of the day I don't really see why you should buy the T-Rex compared to this one uh, in, in regard to quality. Um, people can always, you know, say, yeah, but the, the servos and all kind of stuff is better on the T-Rex. That might be true, but you can buy this just as a kit and then buy whatever electronics you prefer afterwards. Um, I just bought this as a Subaru Combo um, to make a fair comparison between the two. Um, you know, so by the end of the day, recommend this. Um, 
Um, one thing though, um, on this super combo, this uh, servo here, uh, which controls uh, this one, uh, emulator, um, the horn that comes with it, if you don't cut it, I'll put that in some pictures if you like, um, you have to cut the end of it, otherwise it's gonna scratch um, up against the um, uh, the inside of this and actually uh, bind very very bad um, but it's you know by the end of the day it's just cutting it uh, over so cutting it a little shoulder but again if you like I'll put up the videos um, the build videos um, but be feel free to ask any questions and if you like a review and a setup guide of this uh, set UX unit please say so I have both the new one and I have the old one um, so I can make a fair comparison between the two. Um, the DFC head, which was not included in the kit, I will say that. Uh, I bought that afterwards. Um, the quality is fine, um, not a problem there. It's the same with everything else, there's no Loctite in it, so you have to pull the part and uh, Loctite it and uh, put grease in it and all kind of stuff like that. But that goes for the whole helicopter and it should always be like that. I kind of hate when people put in um, uh, the uh, manufacturers actually kind of put some Loctite in some of the screws, but still you have to pull the part to actually find out if they forgot something, and always do. So I rather prefer to just make the mock-up, uh, so and especially on the head you can always just see, okay this is how it's supposed to look, take one screw at a time, put Loctite on and screw it together again. Um, I just flew this uh, last weekend, um, uh, one of my... Um, a bold uh, holders uh, actually came out of the squash parade because I forgot a uh, Loctite on it. I'm sure I did it, but I could see in the screw I didn't. And trust me, um, it looked funny in there. For some act of God, it actually landed perfectly on uh, its skids, so nothing happened. I could dust it off and fly again. Wouldn't recommend trying that. Um, so, you know, hope you enjoyed this very brief little review. Ask any questions you like. and. If you would like additional uh, information, just ask and I'll provide. Thank you.